Good morning, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. It is 12.08 here in West Michigan. In the afternoon, it is January the 14th, 2024. Um, yeah, I just realized something that there is scratches on my glasses. And I don't know where they came from. I mean, I got up this morning, they were fine. I fed the birds, came in the house, was going to make a video, and then I was going to clean my glasses, and I noticed there's a scratch on them. Weird. So anyway, I have to get my glasses fixed next week. Well, this week, sometime when the weather clears. Here in West Michigan, we're <coughs> having winter weather like everywhere else in the country. So yeah, today is January the 14th, 2024, sitting inside my main study, <coughs> <coughs> I thought what I would do in this video is share some of what my favorite books were in 2023. I wasn't going to do this, but I've been thinking about it and I thought I went through my list of books I read throughout the year 2023. I put this list in my <coughs> live journal, Crooked Fingers, so if you want to read it. And I, I went through this the other night and I just, I couldn't, so I kind of selected certain books and certain categories <laughs> and that's what I did. I mean, I noticed that some people, they did a video on booktube about the, the best fiction they wrote, the best nonfiction, poetry or, you know, history and things like that. So that's what I did. And I went through my, what I read month by month throughout 23 and just picked things that stood out in my mind that I really enjoyed reading. And so I went down on the lower level and I gathered them and brought them up here. And so, and I just realized as I'm making this video that I didn't bring up one of them. <laughs> so, you know, this is a total bust this whole video the one thing the primary fiction novel celluloid by uh, that Romanian writer I didn't bring up well anyway celluloid by a novel by Mircea M-I-R-C-E-A Carcisto Car translated by Sheen Coder Cotter, that was the primary novel that I chose for the best novel of the year. Not because I thought it was well written, but it, I, it was immersive. I really got into it and I read a lot of reviews about it and analysis of it and I really got into the novel. It was kind of a strange trip and uh, so it was really kind of an intense experience. That's why I chose it. And I don't know why I didn't bring it up here. <laughs> but there were other novels that kind of stuck out in my mind. And I brought those up here. This one I really enjoyed reading was The Different Sea uh, by Claudio Mengres. Translated from Italian by M.S. Spur. I really, it's a slim little thing and I read it and I was, it, I, it just haunted me all year and I just highly recommend this, The Different Sea. It's just, uh, just incredible little, it's almost like a novella, short story, but it's really a great little book. And then I really got into reading, these are kind of like along the same it's kind of hard to what these are, but they're considered novels, but they're kind of a little bit autobiographical, historical. And I really got into reading Victor Serge. You know, as you all know, he's one of my favorite writers. 
I think he's one of the greatest writers of the 20th century. And I read The Conquered City by Victor Serge, translated by Richard Greenman. Greenman. And then I also read Midnight in the Century by Victor Serge, which translated with an introduction by Greenman, Richard Greenman. I really, really enjoy his writings. I have two more of his I have to read, and I've read everything that's been published by him. That's now there are there are nonfiction things that I don't have, and uh, I have some of his nonfiction, but I have basically what has been uh, published and translated by the New York, uh, the New York Review Books. So I really enjoyed these. So that's what I'm going to call my novels. <laughs> and then I have here Travel. And I really enjoyed reading this as a travel memoir. As you know, I like reading travel. I don't, I, I, as I was going through my year of what I read in 2003, this is basically uh, the only travel memoir I remember reading with the, di the Dying You uh, by Claudia Mingris. And he is the one who, <laughs> he wrote A Different Sea. <laughs> He, same person. Uh, this is a vintage classic. Uh, Claudia Mingra, scholar and critic, was born in Trist, Italy on April the 10th, 1939. After graduating from the University of Turin, he lectured there in German language and literature from 1970 to 1978. He holds a chair of Germanic German, German, studies in the University of Trist and was for a period a member of the Italian Parliament. So anyway, I really enjoyed reading. It's kind of like he, it's like he goes down the Danube and he brings in history and he brings in all kinds of things. It's just a really fascinating read. And I really enjoyed reading this travel memoir. And then I have autobiography. This is kind of like this is one of my all-time favorite books of 2023. It's kind of like an autobiography, but it's almost novelistic. And it's called A Story of a Life by Konstan Perskowski, translated by Douglas Smith. This is uh, a book that I probably would reread again in a, in a while, but it's one of the best things I read last year. And I highly recommend it. I, I consider this autobiography but it could be a novelistic too uh, see it even says here here are the first three books of Polkowski's Polkowski's epic autobiography long unavailable in English appears in a splendid new translation by Douglas Smith taking the reader from Polkowski's Ukrainian youth his family struggling on the verge of collapse through the first stirrings of writerly ambition to his experience working as a paramedic on the front lines of the First World War and then as a journalist covering Russia's violent spiral into revolution, the vivid and suspenseful story of a coming of age in a time of troubles is lifted by the energy and lyricism of Praskowski's prose and marked throughout by his deep love of the natural world. The story of a life is a dazzling achievement of modern literature. And I have it, it is a dazzling achievement of modern literature. And then we have Christian theology, which, you know, I read a lot of theology throughout 2023, but this is one I really enjoyed reading, A Theology of the Christian Life. Imitating and Participating in God by Christopher R. J. Holmes. Uh, this is really a gem. I really highly recommend it as far as Christian theology. And then I have here poetry. 
like I read a lot of poetry, but this is the one I remember reading the beginning of the year. Half Light Collected Poems, 1965 to 2016, by Frank Bidhart, winner of the National Book Award. Yeah, I still have been. I still, I haven't read all the poems in here, but I've been reading his poems throughout. Well, throughout 23 and now into 24. This is the what I consider the best poetry book I read this year. And then um, biography. I I read biography and I also forgot that one <laughs> downstairs. Uh, I didn't bring it up, but the best biography was Cosmic Scholar, The Life and Times of Harry Smith, Filmmaker, for Forest, and Mystic, Who Transformed American American Art by jo John Seaweed. That was one of my, uh, I really enjoyed reading that biography. I also um, enjoyed reading... Uh, this goes along with uh, letters, the letters of Gustave Forbert. The letters of Gustave Forbert, uh, translate, edited and translated by Francis Stellamar. When I, I, I these are I really enjoyed reading these letters, and I read along with it. Fulbert, A Life by Jeffrey Wall. It's good to read these side by side because not everything that Fulbert mentions in his letters, it's, you get a fuller picture of what is going on in his life outside the letters in this. There's a lot of Fulbert biographies and this is the one. I have a couple of them, but this one I read along with the letters and I recommend them they would be read together. And then it comes to essays. Uh, I really enjoy reading these essays by J Joseph Epstein, Colum Malfury, a collection of essays, reviews, and bits. So. This is my, I enjoyed reading these. I'm still reading these, but I enjoyed reading these essays. And then you have biblical commentary is the Dionysus and the Carthusian commentary on the Doeic Psalms, volume four, Psalms 76 to 100, translated in introduction by Andrew M. Greenwell. This is volume four, volumes five and six are supposed to come out in 2024. This was my favorite commentaries for 2023. Highly recommend it. And then art, when it comes to art, I have been reading, I've read uh, Francis Bacon, who is a very modernist, surrealistic kind of painter. This is Francis Bacon. Anatomy of Enigma. It's a biography by Michael Pella Platt. Peppa Platt. Platt. It, it, there's a lot of history of art surrounding his, when he goes through the life of Rich, uh, Francis Bacon. And it, it's really interesting, the, the art scene, what was going on as he was uh, in the, the, art, the world of art at the time of Francis Bacon. So then we have here history. The thing I really enjoy, I'm still reading it, but I really recommend The Radical History of the World by Neil Faulkner. I really enjoyed reading this. Uh, it's been insightful. He does take uh, one of the finest historians on the left. He's a Marcus, a Marxist. He was. He's passed away. He wrote a hit, People's History of Russia, the Russian Revolution, and he wrote a book on Lawrence of a River. Lawrence of a, a River was a Lawrence. I can't even remember how to pronounce it. Arabia, 
Arabia's War, but I really enjoyed reading this. And I'm still reading it, but it's one of the best kind of history books I've read. I did start reading, uh, I want to get back into this one in 2024, The World, The World, uh, uh, the World of Family History of Humanity by Simon Sinbag, Sinbag Mantle Manafort. I'm going to get back into reading this in 2024. And then lastly I have here as far as... That, that was it. I do... I haven't finished this, but this is a novel I also have enjoyed. I'm almost done with this. Lies and Sorcery by Elsa Morant. Yeah, I really enjoy reading. I'm still reading this, and uh, but it's been a great read. So those are the books that I, for I didn't bring everything up here, but that's what I enjoyed reading. Historical Fiction, Midnight in the Century by Victor Serge, novel, Celluloid, a novel by Miss Mr. Arsto, uh, Travel and Memoir of the Danube by Cla Claudia Mingris, Autobiography, A Story of a Life by Konstantin Pukowski. I can't pronounce these names, but yeah, I highly recommend this, this book. Highly recommend it. And uh, Poetry by this book, Half, Half Light Collected Poems, 1965 to 2016 by Frank Bid, Bidhart. And I did, forgot the biography, Cosmic Scholar of the Life and Times of Harry Smith, filmmaker, for Oris, Folk Oris and Mystic Who Transformed American Art by John Sidwell, Letters, uh, or are those letters? I lost the letters. <laughs> oh, they are. The letters of Philbert Gustave Flaubert. Essays. Gal Maffry. Collection of essays, reviews, and bits by Joseph Epstein. Biblical commentary. Dionysus Dionys the Carthusian commentary on the Psalms, volume four. Art. Francis Bacon, a biography, Enigma. Francis Bacon, Enigma, Anatomy of an Enigma by Michael Pelplatt. Mystical theology. Platonism, Mystical Theology, and the Spiritual Discourse of St. Gregor of Nyssa by Jean Dayu. So you have, I mentioned, let me see here, I'm getting, you have Christian theology, a theology of the Christian life, imitating and participating in God by Christopher R.J. Holmes, and then you get into Christian mysticism, I recommend Platonism and Mystical Theology, Spiritual Discourse, Spiritual Doctrine of Gregory of Nyssa by Jean Dihu. So these are go together. It's what you have Christian theology and Christian spirituality. Best Travel Memoir, The Dihu by Claudia Mingris. Highly recommend his little novella, The Different Sea by Claudia. Claudia Mangris. So these are the books I chose to talk about, to show you in this video. Really enjoy reading The Radical, Radical History of the World by Neil Faulkner. Really enjoy reading Lies and Sorcery by Elsa Monran. And this morning I'm reading for Devotions, Believers, Evidence for Eternal Life by Francis Roberts. In my paper diary this morning, I'm on page 37. 
highly recommend the novels of Victor Serge, A Conquered City, translated by Richard Greenman. This is put out by the New York Review of Books. Read Midnight in the Century by Victor Serge, translated and with an introduction by Richard Greenman. And what else here? Can't stop praising this book, The Story of a Life. Very great, great book by Con Constine Pawskowski, translated by Douglas Smith. If you want to know all the books for the year that I read through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, uh, October, November, December. It's in my online diary, Crooked Fingers. And uh, I did write yesterday in my Crooked Fingers books that I recommend that I stood out in my mind in 2023. So yeah, so that this has been 21 minutes of me rambling. I don't know what this thing, it fell out of here. What is this? Oh, this is a, a poem. It says, Oh God, thou hast taught me that Christ has all fullness and so all plenitude of the Spirit, that all fullness I lack in myself is in Him, for His people, not for Himself alone, having perfect knowledge, grace, righteousness to make me see, to make me righteous, to give me fullness that it is my duty out of a sense of emptiness to go to Christ, possess, enjoy his fullness as mine, as if I had in myself, because it is for me in him, that when I do this, I'm full of the spirit, as a fish that has got from the shore to the sea, has all fullness of waters to move in, for when faith feels me, fills me, then I'm full, that this is the way to be filled with the spirit, like Stephen, first faith, then fullness, for this way makes me most empty and so most fit for the spirit to fill. Thou hast taught me that the finding of let me see, the finding of the treasures of grace in the field of Christ begets strength, glory, joy, and glory, and renders all grace alive. Help me to delight more in what I receive from Christ, more in that fullness which is in Him, the fountain of all His glory. Let me not think to receive the Spirit from Him as a thing, apart from finding, drinking, and being filled with Him. To this end, O God, do Thou establish me in Christ. Settle me, give me a being there, assure me with a certainty that all this is mine, for this only will fill my heart with joy and peace. That was in this book. Huh. So, so this is a Sunday, it is 12.31, it is January the 14th, I hope you're having a good weekend. Have a good reading week. Hope you're all safe, staying warm in this winter blast. And until next time, you can share with me your favorite books for 23 and all those different categories, poetry, biography, travel, art, maybe music. I noticed in the list I didn't mention any short stories. <laughs> I didn't read any short stories, which is unusual. Anyway, so I'll sign off. This is going to click any minute, I know. I'm rambling, and until next time, bye.